for a year. Uh, it happened again this year, unfortunately, we found out on Friday afternoon at about 6 o'clock that uh, Ian Matthews has a sore throat and his whole tour that he was scheduling is in jeopardy of being cancelled and of course his visit with us this morning has been cancelled so that will have to be uh, put on hold for yet another event. But now you see this leaves you with an interesting problem at 6 o'clock on a Friday afternoon when you're trying to put a show together on Sunday. So I had an immediate thought to go to a couple of old friends. <laughs> Summer before last, my family and I were vacationing up at Cape Cod. We checked into the motel and uh, opened up the brochure on things to do. And there at the Melody Tent in uh, Hyannis, uh, there was an Arlo Guthrie show. And opening the show for Arlo were these two friends of mine that I talked about. Immediately placed a call to the Melody Tent, got them in the middle of their sound check. They invited us down for the show. It was a wonderful evening. They mentioned the name Mixed Bag from the stage in Massachusetts, and it got applause. <laughs> but apart from that, I'm watching these guys, who I've admired and enjoyed for 16, 17, 18, whatever years now, and I'm realizing they're at the top of their game. And they came through for us again this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome please as to
Gotta catch my breath. No sleep, no breakfast, just coffee. So I'm kind of hyperventilating here. Thank you so much. It's been a real lovely 
there. I've never heard Michelle play. I was delighted by her.
and we're traveling on this road where two radio stations are interfering with one another, and I can hear distantly in the background, some, some place like uh, White Water Junction, or is there a club up there or something that you were doing? You get a lot of it. And I, say, I thought to myself, if I do this to them again, it's going to be like a camp follow. Every summer, wherever they are, the family shows up for the t-shirts. Uh, there is news to report on Aztec Two-Step, not only collectively, but also individually this year. Rex, you have a solo album. It's true, it's true. <laughs> After all these years, what's the deal? Well, you know, I have an open relationship. <laughs> Married now for 17 plus years, and we've decided to experiment a little bit. <laughs> Try this, and I think it's so far working out good. Isn't Sean Colvin on your record next? Yeah, Sean sang on it. Devin Square sang on it. Oh, yeah. yeah. I gotta stick up hands. Yeah. We, we both have a lot of stake on this record. I'm, if Rex's record goes to number one, I'm gonna get to do something I've always wanted to do, which is uh, a book I've been working on, kind of a Rex dearest. <laughs> record, please. <laughs> tale of sex, drugs, and folk music. Does that sound right? Neil, he's been holding you back all these years. This is, this is your turn to fly. <laughs> you know, it's, it was your producer, John, who asked us when I spoke to him on the phone, if it said, is Aztec Two-Step still going to be touring after the new year? I said, oh, yeah, of course. In fact, we have a record coming out, too. Rex, he's been holding you back. <laughs> <laughs> I like them individually, I like them together, I like them any way we can have them. I think these people want to hear one more. Am I right? Yeah.